Hello, for this neuromedia project, I wanted to find a TED talk that addressed aphasia and ways to make aphasia treatment more available to those who need it. After searching through a few TED talks, I found one that piqued my interest. The speaker in this video is named Andrew Gomery. Um, in, the, in this TED talk named Lost Words, Finding Hope for Aphasia Through Technology, he discusses what aphasia is, why consistent treatment and practice is critical for progress in, re in recovery, he also addresses the factors that can disrupt the consistency in treatment and his opinion on what can get treat what can help get treatment to those who need it. Um, aphasia is the loss of language from a stroke or brain injury. There is no cure for aphasia, but those who have it can regain their losses in language with lots of practice and hard work. According to Gomery, the problem that occurs when it comes to treating aphasia patients is that many individuals diagnosed with aphasia do not get the proper help that they need. They will be diagnosed, spend only a few days in the hospital, and get up to two months of speech therapy, and that's about it. However, Gomery believes that with the help of technology, we can get individuals with aphasia all the practice that they are needing. During his TED Talk, um, he speaks about a few individuals that have undergone aphasia therapy and their progress, one example being a young girl named Sarah. Sarah was 19 years old, who, and she developed aphasia. After just four years of speech therapy, she turned 22 and she has had great progress with her language skills. She's still going to therapy and practicing at home. He claims that the reason she has had such success with her treatment is because she's getting the amount of therapy that she is needing at therapy and practicing at home. Um, after being in the program for a while, I started to wonder why a lot of people didn't know much about aphasia. And it intrigued me just because there are over 1 million cases in the United States currently. It is just as widespread as Parkinson's but why does everybody know what Parkinson's is, but no one really has ever heard much about aphasia. Um, aphasia can have a major impact on one's life. They can, those who are acquired with aphasia can lose jobs, friends, become insecure, depressed, just from losing their capability to speak like they used to. Overnight, they become a whole new person living in a whole new world. Because of their language difficulties, Gomery shared that in the past there have been occurrences where aphasia has affected individuals' legal rights, which really shocked me. Um, before there was more research on what aphasia was, people would just assume that those who had aphasia were mentally incompetent. Because of this, they were unable to speak on their defense in court, which really shocked me. Um, when it comes to getting effective treatment, most people with aphasia do not get what they're needing. Insurance only covers the first few months of speech therapy. After that, the client has to pay in full without the help of insurance. There are in, in, uh, intensive live-in clinics in the United States that are very effective when it comes to the recovery process for those with aphasia. However, they are very expensive and there are only 12 of these programs in the entire United States. Because of the cost and the location of these clinics, many people who are in need of intensive therapy are unable to gain access to them. Gomery believes that with the help of technology, they will be able to get treatment to everybody who needs it. He claims that if we are able to have an app or website for those with aphasia to gain treatment, then location is no longer an obstacle and costs would be extremely less expensive than paying for a live-in clinic for months. With treatment being online, um, the app will remember all the exercises that you did. It will know what activities would make you work more confidently, quickly, which ones were more difficult, and um, it would provide the client with the right exercises at the right time. It is similar kind of to how Amazon works. Whenever you buy something in your, suggest uh, your suggestion list, there are other things to buy that are related to that original purchase. Um, Gomery stated that uh, numerous times that if you want treatment to work, you have to practice outside of your therapy sessions and um, have advoc advocacy for yourself. Communication is essential to being human and we must do everything that we can to help those who lost their ability to use language regain it back. In class, we have discussed aphasia on numerous occasions. In chapter eight of our notes, we learned that the cerebrum, we learned about the cerebrum and its specific functions. The brain is covered in gyri and sulci. Each of these bumps and grooves have their own specific function. Um, Broca's area is one of those and is located in BA 44 and 45. This area is specifically involved with the interpretation of language or syntax and with the planning and programming of verbal responses. It is involved in the coordination of speech organs for language production. If this area is damaged, there will be a breakdown between one's thoughts and language abilities. Bernicke's is another location on the cerebrum. Um, it is located at BA 22. This area attaches meaning to auditory information or the comprehension of language, so what is heard in the human ear. When damaged, the individual will speak verbal jargon um, and have a lack of understanding of what other's speech is trying to tell them. 
In chapter 12, we discussed language and how aphasia is the result of damage to these areas. In this chapter, we discussed different kinds of aphasia that one can acquire. I've already talked about Broca's and Wernicke's, but there are a few more. The types of aphasia that you are diagnosed with depends on your fluency, comprehension, and repetition, whether those three are intact or not. Um, global aphasia is when all of these factors are affected. Um, anomic aphasia is when all these factors are intact still. There's also mixed transcortical aphasia where only one factor in is intact and that factor is repetition. Transco transcortical motor aphasia where is where fluency is the only factor that is not intact. Transcortical sensory aphasia is when comprehension, comprehension is the only one that is not intact. And finally, conduction aphasia is where only repetition is impacted. There are many components that come into play when diagnosing the type of aphasia one may have, and these are the eight, eight types that we have gone over in class. And finally, in our most recent chapter, chapter 16, we discussed how aphasia is a sign of someone having a neurological disease. I chose this TED Talk to use for my Neuromedia project because I found it very interesting. The speaker went into great detail about what aphasia was and what makes the treatment process successful or not for individuals who have aphasia. He also spoke of an idea that can make aphasia treatment more available to those who need it. There was also a lot of information that tied into what we have learned in my neuroanatomy and physiology class with Professor Claybone. In the future, I hope to work in hospitals or long-term care facilities as a speech language pathologist. My mother has administered nursing homes for as long as I can remember. So as a teenager and young adult, I have worked alongside other healthcare professionals in these settings. I hope that one day I will be able to help those who have lost the ability to communicate, be able to regain it back just as they had used their language before. Um, personally, I have a friend who attended speech therapy after having a stroke. He and his family were swimming in a lake on a family vacation. On the car ride back from this vacation, he was trying to insert his earphones into his ear to listen to some music. What he did not realize was happening was for a couple minutes straight, he kept missing his ear. He could not get his earphone to insert his ear. Um, he did this for a few minutes without realizing what he was doing, and it was not until his younger brother, who was sitting in the back seat with him, noticed. And whenever he asked if he was okay, um, he was having a really hard time responding back verbally to his brother. Immediately, his parents noticed something was wrong and they took him to the nearest hospital. What happened was in the lake, there was a bacteria and he was swimming in this lake and that bacteria got into his body and caused him to have a stroke. After he was helped by the doctors, he was able to go home, but a few weeks later, it happened again. He had another stroke. Um, this time there was more damage and he ended up developing Broca's aphasia. He had to stay in the hospital for two months because of his condition. After those two months, he continued to go to speech therapy lessons. And luckily for him, his mother is an SLP, so she was able to help implement good practice at home. After just a few, a, a few months after the second stroke, he went back to school and he had not had any major difficulties since. He was only 19 when he had his second stroke and he is now 23 and his speech is nearly fully restored. The only impact that is still present in his speech is a slight stutter that he did not have before his stroke, but every day is getting better and better and he's still working at home to get rid of that stutter. He told me how he really enjoyed his speech sessions and how amazing his therapist was. And out of all the treatments and therapies that he had to go to post-stroke, he enjoyed going to speech therapy the most out of all of them. Overall, I really enjoyed this TED Talk and I feel like I could relate to the material a lot on educational and personal levels. I feel that it was very informational and I just really enjoyed uh, Gomery's topic of conversation and his ability to relate the information to his audience. I feel like I learned a lot and I feel like that it tied a lot into my classes that I'm currently in and I just overall really enjoyed it. And I would honestly recommend it to anyone who is looking for a good TED Talk to listen to.